Uh, Dr. Spidar Patarazzo says that corporations will feel a big bite from health care reform. And what a lot of these CEOs are saying is just the tip of the proverbial financial iceberg. So, doctor, they're holding back, you're saying, right? I think they're holding back. If you look at over 300 of the uh, S&P 500, Neil, they've got over $215 billion in terms of unfunded liability, even before this whole tax break was taken away. And that has to be reflected on the balance sheets, and they still haven't figured out how to pay for that. This is going to tip them or push them over the cliff in terms of how they're going to pay for it. And they're regulated, um, as the CEO of AK uh, Steel said, they've got to disclose it to shareholders because shareholders want to know how the companies are going to pay for it. Is it coming out of their cash flows? Is it going to come out of their plan assets? But it's got to be recorded in but terms Dr. of how what, this liability. What if they're doing what a lot of retailers do with the weather, right? I mean, I've been following this for a number of years, and the rain is often used, or snow, as an excuse for lousy earnings. I never hear a good earnings report, and they credit the sun. But nevertheless, what's to prevent Americans from being cynical on, on these corporations whining now that maybe they're looking for a built-in excuse? If the numbers are lousy, well, it's because of health care. Well, it's an interesting question, but the assumptions and what they've got to testify on in Congress is more than just a crutch or a political maneuver. It's been an ongoing situation where employers have been backed into a corner of having no control over the insurance companies. Now, and we should stress, you know, you're uh, right, Dr., a lot of them have warned about this. When I was in Washington, I mean, I heard from a few who had sent letters out yeah. last summer warning of just this scenario, but now they're being looked upon as politically expedient here. What do you make of that? But the, the irony here is that Congress wants to know how they've come up with these numbers and they've asked for all of these documents. But hello, it's the same methodology that CBO used in terms of scoring the bill. It's called actuarial estimates, taking life tables to estimate the future value of the benefit. It's the same math that employers have taken in terms of calculating what the future, of, the future value of the prescription drug benefit will right. be taking the discount off, and that's the number they've got to reflect. The and by assumptions the way, are the same. By the, the way, same. they're being demanded now to provide the very details that Congress was, shall we say, lax in providing on this very plan. It so should we ironic, go back to but, Congress? Yeah. yeah. Should we go back to Congress and say, well, let's have us look at the assumptions and when to the estimates? Because now yeah. these companies are forced to report. Shareholders need the information. The assumptions are off. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up dumping some of these folks, unfortunately, um, into the health exchange and well, having be cheaper for themselves. Than to take the hit. You take the hit. And, it could and, be. And it's cheaper. You're right. Doctor, we'll watch it very closely. Always good to have you, my friend.